Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to turn your old PC into an emulator with Batocera. So we're going to take a look how we can do that. So you're going to need an old PC like this and you're going to need a wireless controller, a wireless adapter if you want to use wireless and a USB flash drive. These are the things you are going to need to complete this task. Now, obviously, you can use a modern day PC with a flash drive if you wish. I'm going to be running all the uh, games on this flash drive so the games and everything else will be stored on the flash drive so if we head over to the website you can see it's Linux based and uh, it's good for Windows 10 and Mac OS and you can see there's a bunch of information here they do have a forum if you want some information you've got the download button here it supports all of these consoles as you can see plenty of different types of consoles there now you can see here the supported systems go through here and take a good look the one on the right here which is the one we're taking uh, note of you can see there's loads of ticks inside here and that means we can run just about anything on here so what I'm going to do is come down to the download section and download the version that we want so I'm going to go to the standard computer version which is x86 64 bits and we're going to download that version so the software we're going to use to uh, create our image or flash our USB flash drive is called Etcher and you can download this for free. You can use other software if you wish. This is the software I'm going to be using for this one. Also you will need 7-zip to unzip all the files and I'm going to be using this. You can use WinRAR if you wish uh, but I've been using 7-zip for many years and I prefer to use this uh, software. But it's entirely up to you what sort of software you use. So I'm going to get these downloaded and installed. You can see everything is in the folder, keeps it nice and tidy. So this is all the stuff we need here. So we've got Etcher, 7-zip, and we've got uh, Batocera here, which we can uh, use. This is an image. We need to unpack this first. So what I'm going to do is use 7-zip to extract all of the files in this folder here. So it keeps it nice and organized. So once we unzip this, we should see the folder inside here. Now, of course, you don't have to run this from a USB flash drive. You can use it from an external drive or a hard drive. It's entirely up to you, uh, but I'm going to choose to use it this way. So let's get the Etcher installed on the computer. So I'm just going to click and install Etcher. And this will quickly install this. It's pretty self-explanatory stuff. And uh, let that install. Now, again, there's plenty of other different types of uh, flash software that you can use on the market it's entirely up to you which one you use but this one is very simple and easy to use and i prefer to use this for this type of uh, job that i'm doing here so let me just quickly install this one there we go next up what i'm going to do here is open the software and select our image so what i need to do next is select our image and uh, I've got the image selected and now I'm going to choose my USB flash drive and all there is left to do now is click flash and this will uh, flash the drive so just hit flash and it will start to flash that image to that drive it's that simple so this takes a bit of time so be patient and let it do its thing and once this is complete we're ready to uh, put our files on there so what we need to do here is copy our files onto the USB flash drive and you can do this numerous different ways now once it's finished flashing uh, the USB flash drive it will go into validating and it will validate to make sure everything is copied across OK and it's all working correctly so let it just do its validating okay so we've got that done now what we need to do is got our USB flash drive with uh, Batacera on here and what we need to do now is plug it into the computer this is the computer we're going to be using it's a little mini PC so we're going to plug it into this and then we're going to the BIOS and boot to that USB flash drive so let's get this plugged into the computer here and then once we've got this done we can then boot up to this USB flash drive so restart the system and then you will get to the uh, post screen here and you need to click on one of the keys on the keyboard to enter your BIOS it will be IE F2, F11, F12 there's many different keys you can see in my case here 
it's F12 to get to the, the boot method. So what I'm going to do is push F12 and select the actual uh, partition, which is to get to that uh, USB flash drive, which was SanDisk. So I'm going to click on this and you should see Linux loading up onto the screen. It does take a bit of time to so be patient, but you should see the splash screen here and then it will get up to the screen here. Now they have got some default games on here for the Commodore. As you can see, there's one game available, the Game Boy, Nintendo, PC Engine, Doom, and they've got some games available here for you to play straight out the box and you're ready to go. So it's entirely up to you whether you just want to get to this level. If you want to add more games to your USB flash drive, then we'll do that across the network and I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So you're going to need a controller. You could use any sort of wireless controller, Android, Windows controller like these. You can pick these up for pretty cheap prices, you know, 20 quid. You can even use a PlayStation or Xbox if you wish, but any of those will be fine to use. Now go into the menu system of Badacera and what you need to do is configure your game controller here. So just navigate through the area until you get to the controller settings here and that's what you want to click on. Inside here you will see forget Bluetooth controllers and you can also see pair Bluetooth controllers so you want to get this paired with uh, the actual machine itself. Once you've got all this done you can then start to configure uh, the controller pad itself. So what you want to do here is go back into the configuration and you can see here gamepad one and we need to uh, start to configure these. They're not configured at the moment so they won't work but you can see it's showing you a picture of what you need to configure which is this little area down here. So just basically push up, down, left, right and so on and this will then give it a key and it needs to um, bind those keys. You can see it's starting to bind those keys with the ones that you've selected okay and this will make it work when you're playing games so just go through this here and you can see it says joystick up joystick left and so on so now you know it's talking about the joystick and once you've done those it will give you the letter uh, buttons here so just click on those and it will then bind those keys or those buttons to that joypad so let's go into the uh, system settings here and then take a look here you can see we've got some storage device here and you can see you can change this storage device to whatever you like so depending on what storage you're using whether it's the internal storage external storage uh, or USB flash drive SSD it will all be listed here and you need to select the one that you are using okay so I'm going to be using the internal one and uh, that's the one I'm going to be using so head back to the main menu and what we're going to do next is set up our network settings so go to your network settings Inside your network settings, you'll see here status not connected and you can see here Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi key. You need to make sure you enable the Wi-Fi. That's if you're using Wi-Fi and you want to transfer files across the network to your USB flash drive via the Wi-Fi or you can use Ethernet. It's entirely up to you. OK, but either way, uh, you just need to make sure that you've got this connected and uh, working right. So I've got my Wi-Fi now connected. It's my SSID and my password, which is your Wi-Fi key and Wi-Fi is now enabled. Now we're not connected yet because we need to uh, restart uh, the system. So make sure you restart the system and make sure Wi-Fi is enabled and that should then connect once we restart the system. So let's go back and restart system and uh, hopefully this will then connect to the Wi-Fi. You can see now we have got a connection. And we're on our local network here so we can now uh, connect this and transfer files from our main system over to our little mini PC here uh, which we've got our USB flash drive plugged into. So let's go ahead and uh, get this all set up and ready to go. Okay so I'm going to go back over to my main system now and open up the file sharing here so you can see here. So what we need to do is connect to our little mini PC here. So I'm going to put in the IP address up the top. So I'm going to put backslash backslash and then I'm going to put my IP to connect up to it. So that's 192.168.1.1 uh, and then we can do dot 16 here and we can push enter. 
give it time and let it connect and you should now see a folder on here called share click on this one and now you can see the USB flash drive uh, because we've set it up right so inside here we can go into ROMs and now what we can do is select the area where we want to drop our ROMs into so this is across the network remember so what we're going to do is go into GameCube and I'm going to be putting some GameCube games into uh, this folder so here is the system so on the right hand side is my mini PC with Batachera in there or Batacera how you pronounce it I don't know so I've just got this connected in here so I'm just going to quickly connect up to that there we go and push enter and we should now see the mini PC saying share there we go across the network you can see now I'm just showing you so it's much more easier to understand go back into ROMs and what we're going to do is go into GameCube and you can use whatever ones you want but I've got my main PC here now which is the one I'm on now and I'm going to copy these files across so these files will be copied across to the USB flash drive on the other side so copy and then paste and they'll be copied across the network just like so now depending on how big the files are will determine how long this takes it can take a bit of, take a bit of time because it's going through your local network so just be patient and let those copy across and once they're on there they're ready to go so once once they're on that USB flash drive in the right folder some of these do need BIOSes and you can look up on the forum um, of Vatacera and they will talk about how you can get this to work properly if you need more help but there's plenty of information online to get you to get this working correctly so you can see here now we've got that copying across and there we have the two folders obviously I've blurred them out so you can't see the names but that's basically how you copy those across and uh, we can now close these off and now we're back over to the mini PC we've booted into a USB flash drive and you can now see the menu is right here we've got the Commodore here if we go across to GameCube here you should see there is games that have been populated so we've copied two games across and there's now two games available in the GameCube area now what you need to do is go back into your main menu and you can see you've got Cody Media Center here you can set up so what I'm going to do here is go into scrape and what you need to do is scrape for the artwork for those games that you've just uh, put onto your system so you can set up for the manual scraper and you can put your settings in here and you can click scrape now and you can click on start now what it's going to do is scrape the whole the whole lot of games on there but I don't need to do that because I've only got GameCube so I'm just going to search for those and then just click on back once we've got just the GameCube one done and then click start you can also use the automatic uh, way of scraping for the artwork for the games that you've downloaded and that's pretty much it once you've got these done you can play your games to your art's content my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you enjoyed it thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos